You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the Miss Artastic Podcast. I am your host, Kathleen McGivern, and yes, I am Ms. Artastic, and I create art resources, lessons, and YouTube videos for kids. I curate and write articles for the Ms. Artastic blog, which you can find at MsArtastic.com, and I create weekly drawing videos for kids on the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. I create these podcasts, and I also have my membership for art teachers called the Artastic Collective, which is opening soon, guys. August, first week. Make sure you head on over to artasticcollective.com and get on the wait list. Bookmark that site. Anyway, uh, if you need art resources or lessons, this, of course, is the place to be. From my membership to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, I can provide you with anything you need to teach a stellar art lesson. In this episode, I am going to give you five fresh and new ideas for summer art lessons. So these are all ready to go art ideas that you can use in your classroom that have a lovely summer vibe and will have your students in your art classroom exploring art mediums, experimenting, and being creative. I got you my lovely friends. All right, let's get into it. Summer landscape art. So students can create a landscape artwork that shows what the landscape looks like in the summer. This is a great way to explore seasons and the changes that occur during the season. You can design a project that explores what kids might see in your area during the summer and what colors they might see. You can also explore warm colors with this or challenge them to include as many warm colors that they can in their landscape. This is also a great opportunity to incorporate the element of art space into your teaching and talk with your students about the different parts of a landscape, including foreground, middle ground, and background. For older students, you can even turn this into a perspective landscape. Lots of ideas and things you can all tackle with one art project. Cactus art lessons for kids. So you can also have your students create cactus-themed artworks for a fun and trendy summer art vibe. Students, both in primary and in older grades, can create cactus artworks. Have your students find picture pictures of cacti and they can draw what they see with oil pastels and paint in the rest with watercolor paints. Um, for older students, they can do grid drawings of cacti and can create detailed pencil, crayon or colored pencil drawings. If you live where cacti normally grow, then you can have students do a photography lesson with a cactus theme so you can explore portraits in color, black and white, close-ups, or magnification, fisheye, from below, from above shots, detail shots. It can be a fun thing to do and will allow them to get out of the building for a bit if they're close by. So for ready-to-use summer art tutorials, check out my lessons in my TPT store. I have a primary and upper elementary or middle school cactus art lesson that is ready to use. Find it in the summer section of my TPT store or with your Artastic Collective membership, uh, which by the way is opening in August. Hint, hint. Uh, As well, you can find these links to um, these engaging art lessons in the show notes of this podcast by following the link in the description of this episode or by going to my blog, MsArtTastic.com. If you're wanting to check them out on 
my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Simply go to TPT and search Ms. Artastic. And then in my categories on the left side of my store there, you can click Summer, which should be near the bottom because it's alphabetical. And you'll see all my summer resources there. Next is Tropical Fish Art Lesson Ideas. So a fun thing to explore in the summer is tropical fish. You can have students create tropical fish for an artwork. For younger students, this can be an exploration of mediums to create large, fun fish. And for older students, they can research and then find images of tropical fish. And you can create art based on the research images. So they can explore watercolor paintings, acrylic painting, pencil crayon, or colored pencil drawings. And you can have students learn grid drawings with tropical fish. The choice is yours. So it is a fun theme to explore for summer and there are so many fish to choose from that I am sure all your students will be able to find a lovely fish to create. For a ready to use tropical fish art lesson uh, for primaries as well as I have some fun jellyfish and starfish and some other things as well, I'll go to show notes on my blog uh, to find the links to my tropical fish art lesson and my other summer uh, ocean Creatures? Yeah. <laughs> in the category of my TPT store or in your Artastic Collective membership. As well, next idea is pineapple art lessons. Guys, I love pineapples. As I tell my kids, don't eat the pineapples. Uh, they say why. And I say, I don't know. I just make up things sometimes when I'm teaching. I just say, don't eat the pineapples. And they say, we're going to eat the pineapples. Honestly, this has nothing to do with anything, and that has nothing to do with teaching. Just, just that's just how I teach. It's just in sometimes pure randomness. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sometimes it just happens. Or like, you know, like when you get distracted or whatever, it's just a good thing to say. Just don't eat the pineapples. Keeps them focused. <laughs> or on their toes. Uh, oh, yeah. I, f I remember what I'm talking about. Got distracted, guys. I just started thinking about that. Anyways, so this is a trendy topic that can take on oh so many styles. You can create ceramic or paper mache pineapples, and you can bring in a pineapple for still life drawings. So literally, like, pineapples could be endless. Um, you could do, like, magnification close-ups of, like, the foliage at the top, or you can, kids can zoom in and look close at the texture. Ooh, element of art texture. Oh my gosh, so excited right now. Yeah, I could do a texture lesson. Pineapple texture. <gasps> oh, you could even do it texture but value. So it could be like pencil drawings. If this is like high school, middle school, it could be value, but also element of art texture. See, we can just take all this stuff and like, merge a lot of content into one lessons one lesson anyway you can also bring in a pineapple and then like cut it into slices so that way they're like in triangle shapes <laughs> like a pizza but with like the skin on the outside yeah and you can have kids take a bite of a slice of pineapple and then they can draw it with a bite removed oh yeah uh, you can also have students photograph a pineapple and explore different photography skills. Or students can make pineapple artworks. So, um, you can find ready-to-use pineapple art lessons in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I also have them in the summer section of my Artastic Collective membership. I have a fun pineapple line art lesson for all elementary students. And I also have a watercolor pineapple painting art lesson for my upper elementary or middle school students. Uh, so depending on what you need. So again, check them out in the summer category of my TPT store or with your Artastic Collective membership. And you can find the links, the direct links to those resources in the show notes on my blog. Next idea is a warm colors scavenger hunt. Oh yeah, idea number five, warm colors scavenger hunt. Finally, you can create a warm colors scavenger hunt and this is a unique way to teach color schemes and warm colors to your students when you teach color theory. 
This is a great lesson as well for the element of art color. And students can create a collage of collage drawing of things that are each of the warm colors. Or you could like create a grid and then on that grid you could label each section of the grid with one of or each of the warm colors and then students must find the objects of these colors and draw them as small still life studies and then color them using that color on the label. So you can just do the primaries and secondaries probably for the elementary and younger students. And then for older students you can add the tertiary colors. Uh, and this is a lovely idea uh, and the finished products will be masterful studies that will not only allow kids to explore the element of our color and warm color schemes but will also be a wonderful lesson on drawing still life and will help them with their observational skills. Guys, I'm always, 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 always a fan of bringing lots of of different curricular content together in one lesson. That is how you don't stress yourself out over the year, but also kids can see how everything works together. So tackle as much as you can with one lesson <laughs> and you will not panic for not having achieved all goals. Anywho, well, my friend, that is the end of this episode, so try out an idea, and don't forget to tag me at Ms. Artastic if you share pics of your work on social media inspired by my podcasts, blog posts, art lessons, YouTube, whatever. Anyway, this is Kathleen McGivern, Ms. Artastic, signing out.